Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, well, hello, hi. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff with nails. I can't breathe. <laughs> anyway. How are you all? I hope you're all okay. I have been sent, I went straight into the next sentence. I genuinely do hope you're all okay. Um, <laughs> I have been sent some goodies from McCart. Um, I do have a discount code and a link for them, which we will get to in a sec. So we have these alcohol inks. Oh, and do you know what I love? They were in number order. That's good. We like that. That was satisfying. Um, so I do take them all out um, and show you one by one. I'll show you the corners because you can see the colour of the ink better. Um, so McCart, I think most of you have heard of them. They've kind of become the, the staple place to get full cover tips um, for press-ons or for nail videos and things because you know you're always going to get a decent tip. The thickness is nice, the shape's always nice, the sides of it cover the whole side of your nail. Do you remember those? Oh my goodness. Do you remember those nails? I had the little pointy ones. I've used them in a couple of videos a while ago and they, they were hooked and the points, they started to file in from the side at the cuticle. So they just wouldn't cover a nail, but they were just horrible. Um, and that's why I always try and get McCart tips. So that's why I'm really happy that they have sent me some and that I have a discount code for you. So in that was the alcohol inks, which I've never used before. So we'll be playing around with those today. Um, and this, oh my goodness, there is a shit ton of tips in this pot. It's There's loads, which is great because I was nearly out of the sizes that I use for the videos. So, um, and I didn't even realize, so it's a good job they sent me. Otherwise there would be no videos. Uh, so it came with four full-size glues and a little file um, and then just loads and loads and loads and loads of tips. Um, I don't know if I picked the right size for me to show you. Um, oh, no. No, that's the smallest one. No, that's probably halfway. Just pick a tip, woman, to show people. So <laughs> I love the shape of them and they're nice and crisp. And as I say, by the, the sides of them, they... Um, they just come straight out. They don't hook over like those other ones that I got from, I don't know where from, hell. Um, so these are nice straight on the side, cover the whole nail bed. Um, and there's just loads in here. And you, you just know that you're always going to get nice tips from a card. I try and always get mine from here when I can. Um, what else did they send me? Oh, this <laughs> big old bag of false nails. That's the only way you can say that. Okay. And if you don't say it like that, well, you know, we don't need your kind of negativity around here. So these are the stiletto ones and these are really cool. Um, they have on, they're all kind of um, almost buffed already, but the underside um, is kind of extra buffed. So, you know, you like when you do press ons, you'd want to buff the underside so that it, the glue's got something to stick onto. They're already done. I know. Saved you a job. Um, so these are the pointy ones, just showing you the sides are nice and straight there and then I think just pretending look at me with long nails I'm a lady um so that's those and that's everything so we're going to try doing stuff with alcohol inks which I've never done before so let's see what happens I think that's oh no I do have something else to tell you totally off topic but I wanted to share it with the gang friends because if you know me from the videos you will know that this watch that I bought myself is everything oh look at it Oh, I love it so much. It's got blue to purple, mother of pearl face. Blue is my favourite colour. I love stars, space, moons, constellations. It's just, I'm obsessed with this watch. Um, and I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show the gang my new thing. Um, I still haven't taken the back off. It's still on. But it's got a really nice no logo on the back. No-go? Logo. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that. Well, well, should we do some nail stuff? Okay, let's. Um, <laughs> I'm starting with um, Alaska. I'm going to do one coat. That is a gel perfection polish that you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk. Um, and you can use code TEENDG for a discount. Speaking of discounts, you can use code Miss Joe's Nail Co. with no dot at the end. 
um, at McCart for 15% off and I will put a link that you can follow in the description. And oh my goodness, look at this. Charlie, one of the gang friends, sent me this. She made it! She made it for me! I just, I'm obsessed with it. I, it's so cool. It's got my logo. It's got stars and spacey stuff and glitter. And she's going to let me know if she decides to start making them for people. So I will let you know if and when she does because oh, it's just amazing. I love it so much. Thank you so, so much, Charlie. It's incredible. Um, and I'm using it to rest the bottle of alcohol ink on because otherwise I must spill that shit. Okay? It will happen. So I needed a nice hard flat surface. So I'm taking the blue one, which is called Azure, 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 whatever you want to call it. And the pink one, which is Fuchsia and this yellow one, um, I figured the pink and blue would make a purple, the yellow and pink would make an orange and the blue and green, no, blue and yellow would make a green. So I've popped that on there and just tapping at it. Um, and then I dip my brush, oh, I'm adding some more just to kind of, build up the colour. Uh, quite liked it like that, but that's not what everybody does. So yeah, we've seen it, get on with it. Um, so I'm taking some isopropyl alcohol and a little flat brush um, and I'm just blotting some of the IPA off my brush and then tapping it over the join areas because that's what people do in alcohol ink videos. <laughs> not because I'm a pro or know anything about it, just because that's what other people do. Um, so it will kind of disperse them and marble them um, a bit. And I think some areas, obviously I put too much IPA. Obviously it's, this was the very first time I'd, I'd used the um, alcohol inks. So it has muddied a bit in some of the corners, but I will learn. Um, do I learn by the end of this video? Not sure, <laughs> probably not. Um, but we'll do that and we'll, we'll disperse that and then add some more if we need. Maybe I'll add some at that top right corner where I've taken um, quite a bit off. We do have today a lovers and haters. Um, and I know this video is supposed to be going on today, which is Sunday, but I don't think it's going to be done in time. So I'm sorry, it's Monday. Um, so I'm just, I soaked up, I put a bit too much IPA on, so I dried my brush and then rested it where there was too much and then it soaked some up. Uh, I let it dry, doesn't take long. Um, and then I put some base coat on, the first base, um, which is a gel perfection. You know all the stuff, I, all the gel polishes I use are from there. You know this stuff. Um, so, and I was so surprised at how bright that brought out the inks. Um, look how vibrant they are suddenly with a coat on. And I haven't cured yet, so the base coat is still wet. I put some Alaska on my spankingly gorgeous palette um, and I am just running some lines through there and they'll kind of disperse and we're going for a kind of marble look. I guess that's, that's what I think I was going for. I know there's loads of videos of people doing really cool stuff with alcohol inks um, and I'm sure I will use them. Well, I know I will use them. Um, in future videos, but for for the first try, I'm just going to do some kind of basic um, marbly type things. Uh, so I'm adding the Alaska, and as I say, it's going to disperse um, because the base coat is still wet. And then I will give that a full cure. The reason I'm speaking so quickly is because I've just done the TikTok for this video. Miss Joe's has a TikTok, I know. Who the hell am I? Um, it's my only video that's up there because I created the account today. Uh, so I cured that and I am topping with Fairy Lights Diamond Gloss, which is a no wipe holographic glitter top coat. I know, are they not the best words in a sentence you've ever heard? Um, and that's that. So you can see where it's muddied a bit um, on the top left corner, but overall I'm kind of loving it. It's got a bit of a galaxy feel in the middle there, which is right up my street. Um, and I know loads of you like galaxy things, which is why I showed you my watch, because I know that um, a lot of you like like that sort of thing. So that was that one. I was quite happy with it. What do we think? Do you like it? Let me know um, in the comments. Uh, so I'm now going to do the same colours, but I'm just going to do this. Do kind of sideways, sideways rainbow-ness. And then I think I probably should have tapped on the IPA now. Again, this white I had cured, wiped and buffed um, because I didn't know about putting it onto the alcohol inks, onto a tacky surface. Do you do that? I think I do at some point um, just to try it out. 
Um, so I wiped and buffed first um, and then adding a second sort of layer of the ink. It really dries so quickly. There's no kind of waiting time. And then I'm patting with some IPA. I'm wondering whether I should have done this after the first lot, the first sort of coat of the inks. Um, but it still kind of works. Uh, I was just going for a kind of rainbowy, blended, rainbowiness. Yeah, kind of a tie dye rainbow. So I'm patting, pat, pat, patting. Um, and then I will, what did I do next? Oh, I put base coat over. I'm jumping the gun. I'm going too quickly. Shall we have a lover? Let's, let's start an episode of Lovers and Haters. Lovers and Haters, Lovers and Haters. Ba -ba 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 lovers and Haters. We had a message from Ashley Messineo. Messineo. Uh, says, I'm considering moving myself across the world just so I can get my nails done by you. Uh, these are gorgeous. Love the voiceovers. Your commentaries make the videos great. I think all the gang friends should move over here and let me do the nails. Actually, that would be a pretty big client list. You'd probably be, only be able to get them done every like six months. I'll, I'll use super base. You'll be fine. <laughs> um, thank you for your message. Um, if you are passing, let me know. We'll, uh, we'll book you in. Um, the hater... Oh, what a um, we'll get to in a min. Uh, so I'm carrying on blotting. I decided not to, I'm shouting. I decided not to speed up videos. Like I cut bits where my hand goes off screen and then before it comes back on, I'll cut that millisecond out. But I didn't speed them up and now I'm thinking it's going on too long and you're bored of me and nobody's here. Oh. Um, so I let that dry and I'm going over this with base coat. Just, I didn't want to put anything on top of it until I'd kind of protected the alcohol. Alcohol is very important. It needs protecting. <laughs> um, so, do you know, so if you put something on top and then you think, oh, I don't like it, I need to wipe it off, then you're safe um, without taking off any of the inks. So I'm now taking sugar cookie, which is a gold glitter, and I'm going to do some more kind of marbly veins i don't really know what i was going for just just wanted to try some rainbowy stuff because who doesn't love a rainbow although you know the whole if you want the rainbow you've got to put up with the rain yeah i'm good i'm good without a rainbow if it means it doesn't rain all the time you know what a silly saying uh so i will cure that and then top it with diamond glass of course of course and that will be that one done i think i do do another rainbowy one but we kind of do some other stuff. You'll see. You're here, you know, if you stick around. Um, but yes, I have a TikTok. So go, what do you do on TikTok? Follow? Subscribe? I don't know. Um, I have no intentions to do any watching of stuff on there, interacting on there. <laughs> it was just someone said you should have a TikTok um, because that's what all the cool kids do. So here we are. I have a TikTok. Um, so go follow, subscribe, whatever you do on there. Um yeah. Uh, so I've done a coat of sheer pink just as a kind of base. I've half cured it because I want to keep it nice and tacky. And I'm taking these pink angel flakes, um, which are also from Diamond Glitters. And they're not super fine, sort of they're quite hard, but they're not too thick. So I'm pressing them in and making sure they're nice and flat um, into the half cured coat. You could do a thin coat of base coat if you wanted to put them into that, but you, you, you needn't. Um, and then I'm topping with diamond gloss, of course, of course. And that's just going to smooth it out so that when I put the inks on, it doesn't, you know, I don't imagine they go very nicely on top of all of this stuff. Um, so I've cured it and I've buffed it so it's smooth. Um, and also because I want to put these onto a buffed surface, you always want to buff a surface after wiping it if it's not your final one because you want the next coat of gel or whatever you put on to have something to grip to. I say that all the time. I'm a real stickler for it. It bugs me in videos when people just wipe a nail and go ahead with something else. I'm like, no, it's not prepared. Um, so I'm now adding some of the ink, same colors again, I think. I do use the other colors at some point, I'm sure. And I'm kind of just going randomly all over the place. And then I do do something else because otherwise this is the third video, not video, nail that's the same. <laughs> Um, but I will go over that to kind of, you can build up the colours with the alcohol inks, which is cool. So you can go for 
um, sheer or like a really full intense color so I'm going to add those on there and then do I disperse or do I leave this I don't know I filmed the other day um, just I was getting a bit carried away because every time I put another coat of the ink on I was like oh ooh, look let's do it some more uh, yes I am spreading them out the blue was possibly a bit too intense too dark for this one but here we are um, and I do like the purple it makes with the pink. It's gorgeous. It's so spacey. Um, so I'm going to pat those around. And then I wanted to kind of lighten the whole thing. So, and the reason I'm, I'm doing the same colours again is because I wanted to just try something different. So I've put the glitter underneath. So I'm going to base coat again. Oh, don't cure. I've put that on there to remind myself. Um, look how much they pop. It's insane. I'm using my super duper spanking gorgeous beautiful palette uh, and I'm mixing <laughs> I'm mixing some base coat with some Alaska um, just to kind of create a kind of milky sheer white and I'm going to go over in patches so the base coat's still wet and again that's going to kind of have a blooming blossoming whatever they call it effect and it will lighten the uh, the alcohol inks so we're kind of making them more more pastel now. Again, I've muddied a bit around the corners, but it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, I'd cured that and now I'm topping with diamond gloss and I think I am done. And it's kind of got a sort of geode vibe, I think, with the glowing glitter underneath. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. That's super pretty. And I do like the white over, over the um, inks, the sheer white mixed with the base coat because it does kind of give everything a bit more of a pastel-y vibe. This one, oh my goodness me, I love it. I love it so much. I'm using Honeydew as a base, just one coat. I'm going to cure it. I'm taking Sea Blue Iridescent, which is one of my favourite glitters. You can't see it as well in here, but it's it does shift bluey, turquoisey. It's just, it's just, oh, so good. Uh, and I'm pressing this into the tacky layer. Maybe I half cured then. Um, just to give a sparse glitter look. If I wanted a full nail with glitter, I would apply, I would apply, just pour a load of it over a wet um, base coat on the nail. But I just wanted this kind of sparse, I wanted to see the green underneath. That's what I want, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then I'm going to top it with diamond gloss, of course, of course. And we will cure that and probably give it a buff, I suspect. What does Future Doe do? Yes, she buffs, <laughs> she bangs. And then I'm taking the blue and do I just use the blue and the green? I think the blue and the green and this would be so cool with any color. If I did it with the pink or, you know, the pink and the blue or the pink and the yellow or whatever, any colors um, with the same kind of, you know, a base color underneath and then a glitter that kind of matches. Uh, I'm adding a bit of yellow there and then I'm going to disperse and I think this has to be one of my favorites. It's the most kind of, G well, is it G-O-D? Just kind of like gorgeous, sparkly rock, gem, crystal, stone. You know where I'm going with this? I'm sure. Uh, so I'm patting bits around. Don't want to cover obviously too much of the glitter. So making some patches, um, like taking off a bit more than in other patches. Um, and I like the way it's kind of gone a bit bubbly. I think the good thing about alcohol inks is that, you know, there's no exact way that it has to go. It's just going to organically move with the isopropyl alcohol. Uh, so I'm taking my super, 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 duper, duper um, palette again. Um, and I'm taking that mix of the Alaska and the base coat and I'm putting it onto a wet base coat and just doing the same. Um, is this what we just did on the other one? It kind of is, but with glitter instead of um, angel flakes uh, and just using a couple of colours instead of all of them. And this one, oh, not overly into green. I mean, don't dislike it, just not, you know, just kind of indifferent to it, I suppose. But this, oh my goodness, <gasps> look at it. It looks like you're looking down from a helicopter into the sea. Why a helicopter? Don't know. <laughs> any air vehicle um i just love it i think it's so gorgeous so you could do a whole set with different colors and make them all oh i just love it um and now 
I'm trying something else. <laughs> I'm going to... I used sheer pink because I had a different idea, but ignore that. Do whatever colour you want underneath. Probably a, a silver if you're putting a silver foil. So I'm going to... I've added a coat of foil it to the nail, which is the Gel Perfection Foil Gel. And I'm going to apply this foil. Oh, look at this foil. It's amazing. And then I'm going to put a base coat over it because I'm then going to put the alcohol inks on top and disperse them to kind of, it will tint the foil. So we'll have a rainbow, rainbow foil. You'll see. Um, but I'm putting base coat down first just because I think the alcohol inks might eat away at the foil just because they've got alcohol in. I don't know. When I have alcohol, I eat stuff. <laughs> so whilst I'm doing that, shall we have our hater? Let's have our hater. Oh, this is funny. It says, why is your nails looking like that? No question mark. And it says, why it, don't come at me with poor grammar, okay? You you have my whole video and voiceover to pick at. I only have your comment, so I'm going to pick at your grammar, okay? Um, why is your nails looking like that? If you want people to take you seriously. If you want people to, <laughs> that's why we're all here, for a good old serious time. Um, if you want people to take you seriously, then do your damn nails, girl. <laughs> Why does this person think I'm going to be told what to do by them? Hmm? Now that, that, there's a question mark after that. She might not be familiar with what it looks like, but there is one. Um, I replied. <laughs> I had a bit of time on my hands, so I, I may have got a little bit frilly with it. <laughs> and I'll put it on screen. You can pause it if you want, but I won't leave it on for long because it's f***ing long. Uh, but I'm doing the alcohol link still on here. I seem to be faffing with them a lot. I was getting sort of... Because you can layer them and they layer so well. You see how I seamlessly went back into talking about nails? <laughs> Seamless. Um, I kept building um, and as long as I could still see the hollow through it, um, then that was what we were going for. Uh, so now I'm topping with diamond gloss. And I think I leave it at that because it's a rainbow stripy holographic tinted with rainbow colours um, alcohol inks. I think that was enough. I think we've covered it. I think we've we've done what we need to do. And oh, I love it. I mean, you could do the alcohol ink in a better pattern if you wanted. You could do it stripey, like we did with the second nail, the rainbow stripey one. Um, but I, I, they're so versatile and I'm really excited to own them and to be able to use them for some cool designs now. Uh, so this is all of the ones I did. Let me know what you think. Which one is your favorite? I will list um, everything I've used today in the description box. I'll put a link to the McCart website that you can follow to get 15% off um, and you can use code Miss Joe's Nail Co. Um, I presume if you don't follow that link or whatever. But the, all the details will be in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you all so much um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.